Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Well, recently, OpenAI released or published their new OpenAI Assistance API, where everybody can create his or her own assistant. And I was very curious how that works, and I wanted to try it in Python, and that's what I did here, and I want to share with you how that works. So to get started, I first need to import a few modules, as you can see here, which is openai.env for the environment variables and also the OS module and the time module. Now, make sure if you want to try this, that you upgrade to the latest OpenAI package. Because in a new package, the API has changed a little bit. Now we have a client object and you can only use this if you upgrade. So make sure you have the latest version. Then I instantiate my environmental variables with load.env and then I'm just loading my OpenAI API key here, which is here the GPT-4 API key. I just named it this way in my .env file. Now I have my client object, I instantiated it here. And then what I wanted to try is uploading a file because I want to, want to do retrieval. Retrieval means that I uploading, actually I'm uploading a file or several files. And then I ask the new assistant, which I create about the content of the file. So I just wanted to, well, try and figure out whether that works or not. Um, so to give it some privacy data and then just ask about this data. So for that, we need to create a file object here, which is client.files.create, and then just point to the relevant object, which in my case is a story, a PDF document here, which I read in binary, and the purpose was for the assistant. So this is just, you basically start the assistant, at, at the beginning of the assistant, you just add a file to the assistant, so the assistant can read this file and has the information in the file, right? Next, of course, to all the data it was trained on. But that's the idea, to have my own data in here and the assistant can then use this data to answer questions to me. And by the way, this story I created with ChatGPT. So it was just a fictional story which I uploaded because this just makes sure that uh, this is really data which uh, the new assistant doesn't know, right? If he, And then I wanted to try because I wanted to know, can you really answer the question? Because this is not available on the internet. This is just a, a, a story which um, ChatGPT came up himself in another um, session which I tried that and so the the assistant doesn't know that okay so far so good now next I in uh, need to create the assistant simply by client.beta because it's currently in beta status um, so assistant create and then I just name my assistant I call it pi assistant here and then you can give it some instructions I was really basic here just said you're a helpful assistant and then I gave it tools now the tools, this is very interesting because in the tools section, we can say what kind of tools should the new assistant which we create uh, actually have. And tools currently can be three things. The first one is the retrieval type, which is the tools is a list by the way, as a dictionary, as you can see here, a list of dictionaries. But the type here is a retrieval. Retrieval just means that I can upload documents and uh, the assistant will answer questions which I raise from these documents. Okay, that's retrieval. So retrieve information. Then next, I also gave it the code interpreter, which just means that it can also generate code and interpret code for me. So um, that would also be possible. And the third one, which I did not use here, is that you can also create your own custom functions, right? You might be might have seen a video which I uploaded where we do function calling in OpenAI, so with the normal um, client, not with the new assistants, but that just means that you can create your own functions and then give um, the assistant or in the chatbot actually um, the option to use these functions, right? For instance, you could say, um, which I tried, I have um, a function which is uh, has a finance API, like Yahoo Finance for instance, and I want to give the um, the chatbot the option to use this, right? To, for instance, look up certain quotes uh, for st specific stock price, anything like that. Right, it could also be something else. Um, but this would be the third option that you add functions to here, and here as a tool. And you just put it in a dictionary as a list. With the functions, it's a little bit different. So you would have to take a look at the um, the documentation of OpenAI because you cannot specify type and then just function. It is a little bit more, uh, but uh, there is a schema for that and you can simply copy paste it. Then you define the model and I'm used here the latest one, the GPT-4 1106 preview. And then for the file ID, it's very important that we add the file.id, which is the object which is created here. So that just means that the assistant at the beginning has already given the file, so he can read the file and then uh, based on that, give answers to the questions we have. The next thing is after creating the assistant, we need to instantiate a thread. 
A thread is actually, uh, this is basically where a user has a session with the assistant. So you, forever, uh, whenever you have a new user, you would have a different thread, right? So you have one thread per user, and in this thread, this is a conversation the user has with the assistant. So that's why we need to create it for here. And then we need to uh, add messages to that. So this just means that now we have an empty thread, but currently we have no messages. And here I just said, uh, this is the message I want to create. So client.beta.threads.messages. So to the thread itself, which we definitely define by the thread.id from the thread object, we add here a message. And the message is role user. And then here is the questions I have. Now, this question is currently in German, so you do not need to understand it, just by the way, but whatever you do, you just ask the question in your native language, okay? Um, and that, that's basically it. So now we have an assistant, we have a thread, we added a message to the thread, so basically uh, the role, which is me, the user, and also the content, which is the question I have. And this question is actually based on the file object which I uploaded, right? Which we also added here to the assistant. And then the third step after the assistant and the thread with the messages is the run. The run now is really executing it. So because right now the assistant has not really uh, actually connected maybe the, you can call it this way, uh, the thread or the messages in the thread with the assistant itself. But in order to run these messages, so to answer the questions, we need to create a run. And this run is then client beta threads run dot create. Again, we need to give it a thread ID, so the run knows exactly, okay, that's the thread with the messages, and the assistant I should use is actually the assistant we created up here, okay? And then this run, of course, now takes a little bit of time because it's in a queue, and uh, as long as the status is not completed, then I just sleep for one second, and then again, I try to retrieve the data of the run. So it's just a kind of loop which you do until the run is actually completed. So the question is really answered and a result is given. And if that's the case, then we just say here messages, client of beta threads messages list. And again, we specify the ID of the thread and this just gives us all the messages. And this is then a new object which you can also print. I did that. And in this object, you find then the, the answer to your questions as well as a few additional information like some metadata and also kind of other things. Uh, created date and so on. So uh, these timestamps and so on. But that's basically it. And uh, that's how that works. So if you want to try this yourself, then you can do it like that with these kind of codes just to, to get started with it. Um, one thing to mention is that you need to buy some credit um, to use it because you can see here, of course, I uh, use the uh, GPT-4 model. And for that, I needed to uh, buy a little bit of credit on the OpenAI website, but um, just to explore it, it really is not very uh, expensive because I did that, I ran it around 10 times or 20 times, I'm not sure, and I paid around five to 10 cents. So it's not really expensive um, to give it a go and try this out. Okay, so that's it for this video. So if you wanna try it yourself, then feel free to do it. Uh, now we have some kind of idea how that works. Um, so if that was interesting to you, then Thanks for watching the video. Please give this video a like. And also, please, if you haven't done so far, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Take care and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.